हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एसएमए मित्रा तो आज हम लोग एक पावर सेक्टर एक एनर्जी सेक्टर से जुड़ी हुई कंपनी के साथ आपकी मुलाकात करवाने जा रहे हैं कंपनी एनर्जी सेक्टर को कंसल्टिंग और एपीसी सर्विसेज प्रोवाइड करती है हमारे साथ है मिस्टर राजेश अन्य जो कि कंपनी के चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर है सर थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम एंड वेलकम टू द शो या गुड मॉर्निंग ओके सर सबसे पहले शुरुआत करते हैं कंपनी के बिजनेस ओवरव्यू से तो आप प्लीज एक्सप्लेन करें कि लक्ष्य पावर टेक का कारोबार क्या है लक्ष्य पावर टेक इज बेसिकली एन ईपीसीसी कंपनी and uh, do the provide in the services uh, for the integrated operational maintenance uh, services uh, for various sectors in uh, island gas and uh, power and uh, uh, renewables and industrial sectors so basically uh, we do the uh, complete uh, uh, comprehensive services for all these sectors and right from uh, beginning for design engineering se leke fir uh, Uh, testing and commissioning, and then handling of the project. Then, if the client requires, then they wanted to carry out this uh, operational maintenance contract, and then operational maintenance also we provide the services for a long term and short term kind of thing. So, uh, in short, uh, what I will tell you that whatever the um, uh, portfolio we have, we provide them the uh, complete life cycle services for them. Okay. Uh, थोड़ा सा और क्लियर uh, करने के लिए एक टिपिकल प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में बताएंगे कि जनरली टिपिकल प्रोजेक्ट कैसा होता है और आपका uh, हर एक स्टेजेस में आपकी इन्वॉल्वमेंट क्या होती है सर तो यूजुअली लक्ष्य ने जब भी स्टार्ट किया था बेसिकली इट इज स्टार्टेड फॉर द सर्विसेज सो आई स्टार्टेड दिस कंपनी एज एन फ्रीलांस कंसल्टेंसी and uh, then uh, we have started providing the oenm services for the gas based uh, power plants and then after uh, uh, we have started uh, doing the uh, testing and commissioning of the power projects uh, and then we have been diversified into island gas and providing the operational maintenance of the gas compression stations and then uh, then again uh, in island gas also we have started taking the back to back uh, contracts and the uh, epc contracts so like uh, we are, that is actually our uh, journey basically uh, okay. coming into a uh, typical project uh, suppose uh, if you uh, want to make an a uh, kind of project then uh, we do the uh, uh, design engineering for that project and the detailed engineering and then uh, we provide the services for the procurement and uh, then uh, uh, resourcing of the equipments and all and then uh, we do the installation and uh, we do the integration of the complete project and doing the testing and commissioning and handing over the uh, the project to the uh, client with the uh, guaranteed deliverables got it and again Uh, then uh, we take we undertake the operational maintenance contract on a comprehensive basis on a uh, KPI module. So we give the uh, guarantees and warranties for the uh, uh, their project uh, uptime guarantees and production guarantees and everything. सर थोड़ा सा और पीछे जाते हैं हिस्ट्री में और जैसे आपने बताया कि आपने शुरुआत एक फ्रीलांसर से की थी राइट तो आपका सर बैकग्राउंड क्या था और कैसे आपने ये डोमेन को चूज किया सर actually me mera uh, educational background me is that i am mean, a, a diploma in electrical and electronics engineering kiya hua hai so then mera professional experience uh, i have an experience with the process industries and in power and as well as in uh, island gas uh, equipments ka isme mera zyada experience hai And when you are doing the oil and gas experience, then we have an expertise in the renewables in the western. So I started my career in 1996, and uh, till 2012 I have worked with so many companies like Andhra Sugar Limited in the uh, chemical and fertilizers division, where they manufacture this uh, caustic like caustic potash and these uh, 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 products, and they also do the bottling of the hydrogen. this kind of products basically it is a chemical uh, uh, process industry okay and then uh, joined with the uh, design and uh, then uh, toyota and key power systems 
so where i have worked with the power plants uh, uh, the bhl uh, steam turbines and as well as in the uh, hfo uh, diesel engines based power plants with tdps so then uh, from tdps then i joined with triveni turbines so in 2005 then they have posted me here uh, for uh, as an uh, regional engineer uh, for the uh, gujarat so i came here in 2005 and from 2005 to 2012 uh, i worked with triveni and then i have found that uh, that uh, uh, basically the there is a service sector in the particularly in this rotating equipments and rotating field and then the doing the operational maintenance contract there is in a vacuum and uh, right people and uh, right uh, service oriented uh, team is lacking so i thought of changing uh, my uh, portfolio from doing continuing the job to uh, switch over to uh, as an entrepreneur एक्सेलेंट सो इस डोमेन में आप थे इस आपने पूरी जर्नी देखी आपने देखा कि देयर इज अ बिजनेस नीड एंड आई आई मीन एंड देन यू गॉट दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी एक्सेलेंट सर सर मेरा अगला सवाल है कंपनी के ऑर्ग स्ट्रक्चर के बारे में तो कंपनी की कोई सब्सिडरीज या कोई सिस्टर कंसर्न्स हैं नहीं अभी तक कोई नहीं ओके ओके सर आई वाज लुकिंग अबाउट योर प्रोस्पेक्टस जिसमें डेटा सेंटर की बात हुई थी कैन यू शेयर योर एक्सपोजर एंड वर्क डन इन द डेटा सेंटर या एक्चुअली ऑन आवर डेटा सेंटर्स में राइट फ्रॉम लास्ट 8 इयर्स वी आर वर्किंग विद डेटा सेंटर्स एंड वी हैव कंप्लीटेड सेवन फेजेस ऑफ अमेजन डेटा सेंटर्स इन रबाले मुंबई एंड आल्सो वी हैव वर्कड विद सीपी टेक्नोलॉजीज cpis technologies data center and uh, ntt data center also we are working right now and uh, next row also we have completed one uh, phase one uh, for the hsd system and all uh, for their uh, data center in pune and the second phase uh, discussion is going on uh, we are doing uh, good in uh, data centers particularly in the emergency power backup system and their fuel handling system so uh, mm-hmm. we provide the uh, complete comprehensive services for this thing and the, the oems like uh, caterpillar and cummins wherever uh, they are uh, providing uh, this uh, power backup system then we integrate those systems for them through jemco uh, limited and powerica limited okay sir and sir i was talking about regarding sir financial the profit margin top line bottom line is going in very great way the profit margin has increased from like 3% to 5 to 10% any specific reason for this and how was like future prospect actually the reason for the profit margins increasing and uh, this thing is that uh, basically uh, as you see 2012 we have started as a freelancing company and then mm-hmm. later on we have started the operational maintenance contracts and uh, then if you see our journey and uh, because uh, nobody will give you a direct contracts uh, uh, when you go into the market and uh, first you have to establish yourself and humne wahi kaam kiya tha jaisa abhi hum log ne pehle gaya tha fir as a freelancing kiya tha fir then we have taken operational maintenance contract kiya then we have started taking the projects testing and commissioning here then we have started giving them the uh, balance supply and equipment supply and testing and commissioning kiya hua hai then for the oenm we have uh, operational maintenance contract it has been converted to the con- uh, comprehensive maintenance contracts diya hua hai comprehensive ma- maintenance contract se then integrated operational maintenance maintenance contract dena shuru kar diya tha this is actually the phases of that our uh, our uh, 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 expansion basically so till 2020 we have uh, been taken the operational maintenance contract uh, as an subcontracting uh, kind of thing to generate our own credentials and we have generated uh, from 2012 to 2020 years we have generate our own credentials and from 2021 onwards we have started taking the we have started taking uh, 
independent contract from free issues like when you see we have got a uh, couple of contracts and i was cl we have gotten a couple of contracts and uh, then uh, from hpcl uh, we are doing an uh, operational maintenance contract for their first ever uh, compressor biogas uh, cbg project we are doing an a comprehensive maintenance contract so the oenm uh, is our sustainable business so now we are majorly focusing on uh, taking up the epcc contracts and we are exploring the more epcc contracts and we are uh, expanding our portfolio into the epcc contracts so in this transition so when you are going for the subcontract to contract a direct contractor then definitely your margins will increase and also you what you are doing is that uh, that uh, your portfolio is also increasing that from services to the procurement and procurement to the uh, from designing and procurement so uh, the, those margins uh, is reflecting on the our uh, balance sheet actually okay thank you okay. and sir regarding order book in the prospectus it was mentioned about like 140 crore you have order book in hand so like what's the time frame where you would execute these projects so actually the order book is not 140 crores it is around mm -hmm. 260 to 270 crores so okay so in the prospect it is mentioned an rhp it is mentioned in 260 to 270 crores so actually uh for the uh, if you bifurcate this uh, 260 to 270 crores, so then uh, 120 crores uh, is uh, related to the uh, EPCC, and and then uh, 140 150 crores is uh, uh, related to the operational maintenance contracts. So basically, the operational maintenance contract, which will vary from three years to five years contract. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and the uh, EPCC, uh, which will be around uh, uh, 18 to 22 months, uh, is the standard time period. So this, whatever the 120 crores, uh, uh, which is around 90 to 100 crores, we are going to complete by this financial year. And the rest of uh, operational maintenance contracts uh, will be vary from the, for next year, one contract will get closed. And then the further year, one contract will get closed. It will be like that. Okay. Uh, sir, high level, on very high level, uh, what would be the revenue split between EPCC versus maintenance? And if you want to change something in the future, what is the company's strategy around it? Yeah, company's strategy is that now the government policies and initiatives is through the, for the more on the uh, green energy. Actually, we are into this uh, uh, renewables, uh, uh, for the CBG projects and in biomass, we are already there and biogas is how we are already there. We did a project for that, uh, this one. Then we wanted to increase our portfolio from services to the uh, EPCC contracts. And of course, in data center also, we wanted to make our, uh, increase our portfolio, uh, not only for this uh, emergency back, uh, uh, emergency power and then the HSD system. We wanted to go into this uh, controlling modules and uh, then in electrical, mechanical and uh, HVAC systems. We wanted to uh, take in a, a complete turnkey of the uh, mechanical, electrical uh, uh, kind of jobs. Right. Right. So we are also uh, exploring uh, to increase our uh, international portfolio. So by uh, taking that uh, strategic uh, partnerships with uh, various uh, uh, countries so to expand our services there also okay so sorry okay. Uh, i didn't catch sir so uh, maintenance versus epcc ka ratio kya hoga percentage wise like uh, revenue I mean, right now right now 43 and 53 is the ratio 43 is the epcc and 53 is the uh, maintenance uh, operation integrated operation maintenance got it and the rest is the special services so in the coming days uh, then uh, epcc will get increased so right. we are expecting uh, next year is uh, uh, somewhere around 63 to 65 and uh, uh, rest is uh, that integrated operational maintenance and the uh, special services got it sir sir aapne jaise bataya ki aap uh, international opportunity opportunities ko bhi dekh rahe hain to 
अभी इंडिया में कोई पर्टिकुलर ज्योग्राफी में आपका कंसंट्रेशन uh, ज्यादा है या पैन इंडिया में इट्स इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड और इंडिया वर्सेस आई मीन डोमेस्टिक वर्सेस एक्सपोर्टेड सर्विस अभी uh, क्या स्प्लिट uh, होगा सर सो बेसिकली व्हाट वी आर लुकिंग इज दैट इंडिया में वी हैव एन मार्केट uh, अच्छा है हमारे लिए हमारे लिए जो क्लाइंट्स है वो क्लाइंट्स का रिपीटेड ऑर्डर्स वी आर गेटिंग दैट रिपीटेड ऑर्डर्स फ्रॉम द क्लाइंट्स बेसिकली सो द क्लाइंट बेस इज गुड फॉर अस एंड फॉर द ऑपरेशनल मेंटेनेंस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स आल्सो वी आर डूइंग विद एलएनटी राइट नाउ फॉर द वेदांत राजीव श्री गैस फील्ड Uh, that is an a five years old contract uh, five year contract two years we have been completed and the three years uh, is going to be uh, rest of three years we are uh, have to complete basically uh, why because uh, we are uh, exploring in a uh, international market is uh, uh, for the uh, giving them the comprehensive services uh, for the uh, operational maintenance activities as well as the Uh, specific uh, maintenance activities uh, for the uh, hydrocarbon industry okay aur jaise sir india mein koi particular geography uh, gujarat ho gaya ya koi particular state jahan pe zyada focus hai ya aisa nahi hai nahi hai abhi aap dekh lijiyega ki fir then uh, agar uh, gujarat mein hamara company hai <laughs> established hai but uh, as you compare with the revenue uh, wise dekhenge to fir gujarat ka hi uh, gujarat ka thoda kam hai ओके तो राजस्थान में हमारा है और झारखंड में है इट डिपेंड्स इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द प्रोजेक्ट टू प्रोजेक्ट बेसिकली बिकॉज इफ यू सी दैट आइलैंड गैस का और हमारा जो डेटा सेंटर्स एंड रिन्यूएबल का अगर देखेंगे तो इट इज पान इंडिया बेसिस पे एक्सपेंडेड है सो वेर एवर वी गेट द प्रोजेक्ट देन वी गो देर एंड देन वील डू दैट डू द प्रोजेक्ट विल नॉट स्पेसिफिक टू वन एरिया सर um, आपकी कंपनी के लिए या आपके सेक्टर के लिए रिस्क क्या क्या हो सकते हैं सो so, जनरली जो ईपीसीसी uh, का जो प्रोजेक्ट्स का बेसिकली इट इज जियोग्राफिकली आपने जो भी देखेंगे तो फिर डिफरेंट स्टेट्स में हम लोगों को काम करना पड़ता है राइट right. तो so, हमको काम करना पड़ता है तो फिर क्या कि फिर बेसिकली लोकल uh, में जो लेबर का है और लोकल में हम लोग को एम्प्लॉयमेंट प्रोवाइड करना होता है सो लोकल इशूज़ का भी होता है लोकल इशूज का और उधर का जो जो भी प्रॉब्लम्स है दो जरा द प्रॉब्लम्स इज द रिस्क है और अच्छा दिस क्या है कि फिर जो भी मैन पावर का इज द मेजर कंसर्न है और नेचुरल कलामिटीज तो फिर वो सभी का जो भी आएगा ये तो जो फोर्स मेजर वगैरह आता ही है फिर रेस्ट क्या है कि फिर बेसिकली फॉर द रिस्क बेसिकली व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू बीट द सर्टेन प्रोजेक्ट देन वी विल डू द रिस्क असेसमेंट बिफोर टेकिंग अप द बिफोर बीटिंग द प्रोजेक्ट सो व्हाट एवर द रिस्क वी आई हैव बीन आइडेंटिफाइड देन वी विल मिटिगेट दोस रिस्क एंड देन इफ यू से देन okay to go ahead then we do for the bidding for that project and then we will take that take up that project actually okay okay uh, rajesh sir uh, competition ko leke aapka take kya hai aapke major competitors kya uh, kon kon hai aur uh, aap competition ko kaise dekhte hain sir actually uh, usme major competitor uh, mai kisi ko specify nahi kar sakta hu because uh, uh, we have been diversified into the multiple sectors okay right. so uh, agar suppose the island gas mein jayenge to fir kya ki we are now eligible for taking up uh, uh, in between somewhere around 200 to 250 crores so and also that 250 crores is also is uh, uh, basically uh, uh, various credential we will we'll have to uh, qualify for the cpcc projects so for uh, uh, those projects uh, on the basis of the credentials so the the company will get change the competitor will get change 
So likewise, in uh, data centers also, in uh, renewable also, it will be like that. Because uh, in some cases, uh, some of the companies, they will provide the EPC only, and they will not provide the operational maintenance and then the uh, life cycle support of the uh, project. So wherein we, we do the these kind of services. Uh, so uh, I cannot say specifically for the, uh, these, these are all the people for our uh, uh, computers. Got it. Uh, just last question, sir. Which thing is that Lakshya Powertech is different from the rest of your unique value proposition, kya hai, sir? Our unique value proposition, uh, basically, uh, we have started with nothing. And then, <laughs> now, we are here. And we are uh, going with the IPO. And basically, in the market, people will trust uh, me and Naksha Pavate. So basically, whatever the things we commit to the client, then we fulfill our commitments. And also, <clears throat> this is our baby company. So we wanted to grow like uh, uh, in a unique way. And we wanted to uh, go. Uh, uh, grow as a professional company. So we wanted to implement and systems and processes as well as uh, the implementation of these all the systems to be take place. So the revenues and uh, whatever the uh, orders and all everything will follow you. Got it. So, so you experience of the credentials of it and uh, uh, basically commitment apka jo hai, that makes you yes. special. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Rajesh, sir. You have given your company and your company. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.